All right, quick video because I have to leave for work. Um, nothing changed over here, but I got rid of a lot of the stuff all in the middle here. Took this guy away, put the press there. I got the ladder leaned up against it for now. I got that little toolbox, has a bunch of little things in there. This table over here, it has actually pegboard holes. And I can put more pegboard holes. Uh, I'm going to probably put the, the cabinet up here. This guy here, since it's the small one that goes across up there. Um, got my rolling card over here. I have this larger table over here, the one that I had it twisted. So I wasn't sure, but I gave myself a lot of room here because I put the lathe here. And I got the brake lathe right next to it, and I moved this cabinet here on uh, on its side. And I could change everything that's just, all the contents in here. You know, I had some transmission parts, I had some other parts for stuff. I had a lot of shit for the press, but I also had some bodywork stuff that all can be moved. So, and this I have it on a dolly now, so this can roll. So regardless that it, you know, I'm utilizing the open hole that's in this cabinet for that, and I still have plenty of room for pulling that lever on there that tightens the belt that's down there uh still got a lot of parts my friend's gonna come he's gonna show me a few things on this and we're gonna try to set it up these are all a bunch of stuff stuff that goes in the drawers and i'll probably set up this one or maybe something um is that the last one yeah that's the last one because if i put the other one up there then this can go here i put the tire machine here and i got it on a dolly if i bolt it to this dolly it pretty much won't fall off um, it rolls relatively nicely, and I just figured that if I set it up, I can just take it and swirl it in the middle here. I was thinking about bolting the, um, the, uh, wheel balancer on here. I was going to move this, uh, this thing anyway. This is the giant, uh, welder extension cord. Okay, so if this kind of stays in here, it could be good. So I might just move this guy over there it doesn't quite fit i'd have to put it higher i'm probably going to end up maybe cutting cutting this wood right here so that it'll, it'll fit because i think i have i have 30 up to here that's 36 so it's actually going to go past that um that beam there i if i put it on top then i got to put wood going across which I, I could probably do that too i just get some three-quarter wood behind it and it'll have more places to to mount then you know but um thinking you know and i still have stuff i could put here i could put crates up here i could do different things um i want to put a light under here directly for this um what else hmm the drill press oh yeah so i put the drill press i, put, I mounted the toolbox onto the other toolbox not the side box onto the other toolbox and what i thought was enough room i didn't take account for this so and then the more I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm going to get metal filings everywhere all over the toolbox. And I'm like, eh, eh, it's not going to work there. And why not just put it where all the other machining stuff is? So what I was thinking about is when I clear off this table, it's going to go right back here. I can probably still put the vise here, the big vise that I want to put. Um, the vise was a little tight up against this uh, cabinet, little thing I put on the table here. So I don't quite know how much more room that takes up. So I'll see. I may support it more because it's stronger on the edge here. So I may support it more and go down. This thing is uh, not overly supported, but I actually have a, a big piece of metal. That's actually from a brake booster kit, one I didn't use. And I just used it because it was, it was, it was flopping the table a bit, you know, when I had a training on it. So I might do the same kind of thing, extra support underneath. To put a uh, a vice um yeah so still got to find a place for the uh, bench grinder this is all stuff though that could kind of be in this area and this might be the welding thing even though i got other things here in the uh i had so much stuff i didn't know i was going to be filling all these things but you know the tig weld is set up here i kind of like the way that is um i still got to put my uh rolling um the rolling cart there with the um, welder on it, this guy, uh, I kind of got to leave, so I wasn't going to bother. Uh, the I have basically in the car, I have this section right here, because this is the only section that actually balances. 
of, a, of another balancer that's in better shape with all the writings on it. So I'm just going to mount that on top of something. May make a bracket to put it right on the tire machine and utilize the original bolts. Whether I take off these bolts completely, take it off, and make a plate that all four go on, I just don't know how much threads I'd have to do that. At least if two were on, you know, or I could eliminate the washers at least. But um, there's a few things I can do. I can also get um, like the studs, not the studs, the threaded rod unions, you know, the basically deep nuts, screw it on and then I'll have a new thread and I'll bolt something there and hopefully whatever I put is strong enough for this and it may come out to here. It doesn't quite, I don't know how it's going to work when you, when you kind of go like this, when I turn it out. Like I said, if I move this, it'll give me more room because um, then I can easily just go like this and kind of put it up against the wall. It has some room to do that. It's not as deep as it, as it looks. Um, but uh, it, it'd be nice to have the, t the tire bead breaker over here where I can really grab it in open area here. So basically it's set up that I'm giving myself more room to work so long as I do one thing at a time. You know, if I'm going to be having something on this cutting while I'm cutting a rotor, while I'm doing a tire, while I'm doing welding, and then what other thing I'm going to put here, um, I might mount a... Uh, one, I have two vices. I mean, might, maybe I'll mount one up here, um, probably away from the tire machine on that corner. Maybe um, not 100% sure. Maybe I'll put it on on this guy. You know, although the table, the stock comes off, that'll make it heavy. Um, maybe I can take off the handle and utilize the bolts, make a bracket, and, and have it here. I could do the same thing with the tire balancer. I could put the tire balancer on the edge of this. I can also clear it when I clear off this guy over here. I can mount it right here. It's that small. Um, let's see. I gotta get it out of the car. Anyway, um, I got a mess, and I locked my doors. Why? Well, probably sat on it. Okay. So that's the guy right there. That's how small it is. And it's a little peanut thing. It's basically the same thing as I got. It's just the, if you wanted the bigger one, they added on all those things and they have a bigger base. So I bought it without a base and it should be fine fitting somewhere, whether I make a bracket or I mount it on a shelf somewhere. I'm not 100% sure yet, like I said, but I, I, I'm fitting everything a lot better than I expected. You know, the rolling cart, I'm almost thinking I'd sell it if I have everything off it, but it's probably useful like I got extension cords there, I because all that shit ends up going all over the place. I got an extra jack in there, and you know, to have some basic tools in here won't be so bad. I just haven't used it yet, you know. So, not a hundred percent sure yet what I'm doing with that. And like I said, that cabinet probably on top of there. Maybe I can just slide these both down, you know, both of these cabinets down, or slide one cabinet down and put the other cabinet on top of there bleeding over will prevent anything from kind of falling out of this on the end here and uh, either mount this one over here and that's where I'll put all the little wheel weights and all the stuff for the tire machine in there and um, uh, what do you call it pretty much you know start utilizing this space start putting all that stuff away that I that I made things for break out devices and fine-tune everything that all the junk that's on this and like I said I made all these all these guys there and there um, that one's actually a little small that one's 33 inches pain in the ass I don't really have anything set in stone with that one but I can move that one over there so it's not overlapping as much as I would expect but if I go because I go too far then I I prevent myself from opening this over here so I have it's it's 30 inches exactly from there to there. It may even be slightly smaller. So this is not even three inches. So I got to be careful. I know it's, it'll go in deeper. It'll clear it. But then if I try to, you know, open it, it may not open all the way. So that's another thing. I can also just leave the doors off. And, that, you know, that's another um, possibility. Uh, and then I can, you know, see everything. It's not necessary to lock it all up. Because then, the, you know, then the other handle goes in and that blocks anything here. So, 
just thinking out loud like i said i'm going to add light and i'm going to add more light over there i got to buy another one at least one more and uh we're looking in good shape right now probably going to get rid of this guy don't think i can put it anywhere at this point um i'm not even sure about the other one you know but like i said i still got the that welding cart got to go somewhere i was thinking about under here originally i was thinking of over here and this this cart here can probably be moved around a bit you know uh, as time goes on this guy if i run it a little bit more and get rid of the diesel in it i can i was going to store it up on top of there it's a little hard to lift with the uh with the fluid in it right now um move that uh the hoist and try to put it on this side somewhere so i can utilize it like in this general area and then it can actually be stretched to pull a car in it can even pull a car in on that side too i don't see it's a little bit of pressure going to one side but you know i can also cheat it to this way but i got to still make sure the main thing i can get an engine out with it if i wanted to and the engine hoist is here somewhere um I got this engine stand, I got these two, so that's another thing that's got to be accounted for. The engine stand's probably going to go in that area. I'm probably going to find places for that scrap metal. You know, there's still plenty of room on these shelves. Um, I got these Oldsmobile diesel parts. I got this winch that I had. I'm probably going to move that bottom shelf up and make this one smaller. That tranny will still fit in that way, and I'll be able to get this tote underneath Although I have two transmissions under there already, I can move the transmission up one. It's still plenty of room, um, most likely. So these are all these are all things that are on my mind. Um, got a key machine over here that I never used that I bought. It's very very behind there. That's why the next you know is starting to set up these shelves. Then I have to find a place for this uh, pressure washer, which. If it's light enough, I can technically put it upstairs. Um, that's the good thing about having a winch over here. I can kind of hook it up and go up with it. But I'll see. You know, it's 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 a possibility that I can put it up there with the heater because it's it's not that big. I hate to have to go grab it every time. But like I said, um, press is, uh, the the drill press ain't gonna work there. Let's probably put it in that corner. We'll see where the the uh, the vices end up and you know I can even bolt a vice to one of these tables you know if I want it to stay still and that way I can just turn around and go this doesn't have to be the welding station but if you're welding you're cutting you're doing this you're doing that and it's, there's no reason to not have a you know a drill press on this table so it kind of like I'm going from here to here instead of walking far away but that's why I was thinking of putting it on this table um, so far so good i'm not sure what the tire machine i was thinking about putting the tire machine over here i was thinking about the tire machine could go underneath and then this table will go to long ways but it gives me less room over there um the, this this table doesn't really fit in here um you know i hate the part with that but you know it would be a huge undertaking, but if I move everything down a little bit, if it's possible, I can maybe fit both tables in over here then, and then the time machine can kind of be kind of be under the the ladder where it can be utilized the, the dead space. Because I was thinking about you know in here in the small area here um, that ends up being you know and then the table it overhangs, so. It, it, there's a lot of things to consider at this moment. Um, I can I can actually put the tape like flip the table around, undoubtedly, and make it go the other way where it's up against everything here and it overhangs over there. But I, I think it makes it harder to see what's in there. This tabletop is not even on. It's just it, it's loose. It overhangs, so you can I can make it overhang in either direction. Um, you know I have more room here because everything you know hits there. But so far, so good. Um, quite happy with the way this is turning out. And uh, to put more things in the garage for the most part and, and be able to um, make room for it means a lot to me. Yeah, it means I'm doing something right. So um, so that's it. I'm still uh, I'm working on somebody that wants to buy the old um, 
tire balancer and um, that'll probably happen um, sometime this week maybe don't know what I'm gonna do with the with the uh, the mount maybe I can put it for sale slowly but I can I can throw it upstairs but it's heavy for what it is you know I assume it'll get lighter with that thing off you know but uh because I think this guy doesn't he doesn't even want this as the uh, the pedestal you know so lots of things to think about and uh, progress is happening although very slowly because I've been working and um, a friend of mine passed away and um, unfortunately and um, my mind is all over the place and uh, I know I have a lot more work still to go if I worked every day for a week I'm not even sure if it'll be done you know but we'll see uh, maybe I can bring that shelving unit home. It really just needs the extra set of bolts, just like this one over here. Still debating what I want to do with this. Um, not 100% sure. So uh, I might even, I could technically flip flop these because I can't get to the breaker box without moving a bunch of these. And you pretty much got to leave these shelves in to make it stronger so maybe that'll go over i won't use the two top ones and you know maybe i could use the two top ones elsewhere i don't know maybe you can go you know on on a shelf or incorporate it up there somewhere to, to do something different i shall see you know um but that open hole, I can I can adjust these where I can make it so I can get to certain things probably. But um, it's this height also, and you know, it's the same height, so that one's kind of cool to put there. So I really don't have any floor space to go up that high, other than you know this side where that door is, which I'm not really using. So these are things I gotta think about, you know. You know what am I going to put there first? What what's next? What's in this place? And I'm not sure this is going to stay like this. But this is the most semblance of organization so far with with having everything that I need, with actually room to spare. So hopefully uh, I find a a good way to do this. There's holes here already. I don't know if maybe I could put the put a vise there. This is already kind of bent, so it may not be that strong if you're trying to bang on it and stuff. I like that the table is, you know, to the ground, you know. So, still, a lot of things to think about. And I thank you for watching, because any comments, you know, got any ideas? I don't know if you can get really a, a survey of how big this place is and versus how much I got versus what else can I do. But um, I shall see. I shall see. All right. Thanks for watching.